My name's Ken. I'm the developer of To The Moon, a story-oriented game about two doctors who don't save people, but fulfill their last wishes by traversing through their memories and giving them another chance to live. It's an adventure game slash RPG hybrid without any battles. It plays kinda like an adventure game, looks kinda like an RPG, and tastes kinda like butter. Now since the announcement trailer already showed the drama aspect of the game, this video will mostly demonstrate some of the mechanics as well as the- OH SH- Anyways, so the game can be played with a mouse like an adventure game, or you can just use your keyboard or plug in a gamepad and play like an old school RPG. And oh, oh god, that's a terrible sheet music. Um, right, so the menu here, the interface is fairly straightforward. And at the top is the heart monitor, which will update according to Johnny's condition. I'm kind of whispering right now because it's 4 a.m. by the way. So for most of the game, you'll be inside Johnny's memories, blatantly evading the privacy of his past selves. Which is all good because his present self is given the legal concept. Okay, so we randomly jump into a scene from later in the game now. I don't recall why. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, I guess? So, back to where we were. Inside each memory, you will be able to find five memory links by interacting with various objects and people. Sometimes these will also come in the form of mini-games and activities, such as in this abruptly inserted clip. So you then go downstairs, and you see a cool-looking umbrella on the floor. You try to touch it, but it thunder shocks you and forms a freaking barrier with a crappy day at work. But then you kick his ass with the memory links you acquired and feel like a total champ. Awesome. Anyway, turns out it's a memento. Mementos are items of importance that coexist in two or more memories. They are what you use to travel through Johnny's life. While inside the memories, you can move the cursor up on the screen to show what point in time you're at. Solve a little puzzle. Anyone live in Australia by the way? I want to go there to see one of these someday. They're so awesome. Now, it takes about 4 or 5 hours to reach the ending. The entire game is to the point. Its purpose is to tell the story I want to tell with it, and do it most effectively and efficiently without wasting either of our time. My goal for To The Moon is to have you play it, watch the ending, and say, Wow, that was f***ing satisfying. May I have another? And you may, because this is planned to be a series, each episode with a different life story. However, there is one thing I ask for. 
and that is to play this without any preconceived notion of it being a game, a book, or a pixel movie. Just treat it regardless of what medium it's categorized under, and see if it's an enjoyable way of storytelling. You can reach me at can at freebirdgames.com. My Twitter is reeves underscore freebird. Thank you for your time, guys. And if you like the game, please help spread the word. Cheers.